hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we'll be learning about how to make the total of your product items okay so let's get started so first let's move to this page cart page where here is our cart page cartshow.blade.php so guys we are continuing from the previous video itself and now let's go on the top and fold this first so here you see on the for else okay so i'm folding this for else ending of the row okay let's begin with another row so dot row dot column md8 and one column for four okay as simple and just create one shadow small and i just want to keep this background white add a padding three one h4 tag and total and yep let me create one span tag to display all the total data so let's create one variable called dollar total price okay so from where are you getting this total price variable we need to create in our live wire controller okay so let's go there and just add here and equal to zero so in the beginning it will be zero done now get back to your blade so here it will show zero guys and before this here in the column eight if you require you can just add a dummy content like h4 tag and just add get the best deals and offers a tag and tell shop now okay and you can just add a url by static url if you require any other url i am going to push this on collections all set guys and now i just want to keep this content in center so let's add my and inside laptop you i just want to keep auto and margin top three and here also let's give margin top three let's save and now guys let's see the output first refresh perfect let me make this to zero as at the right side and just add one checkout button so we can add a class here and let's tell float and create one horizontal row and add a a tag and make as a button 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 warning okay and let's keep the name as checkout okay all set and here you pass your url named as forward slash check out let me make this to 100 percent width all set guys and now you can check the output refresh cool so you get your design here and this is also in center but this looks little bigger guys so you can add a h5 tag okay so h5 tags look more cool and now guys i wanted to show the total here so coming to the main concept let's go to this total area column and calculate all the total data so what we can do let's copy this variable first and let's move in for else that means for loop and go to the total part so uh, this is my quantity and this is my total price here so i'm going just below and start with start php and end php and where you placed your variable total price now we need to calculate all this data okay so you are calculating and storing in one variable so you can achieve that using plus equal to and whatever it calculates in each loop it will store in this variable and this variable you can view it below done guys as simple so only you have to add this code that's it now let's save and you refresh you get the total price here perfect it's done and we just need to add one dollar symbol let's move below and here you add one dollar symbol that's it. refresh 
perfect guys so guys we have successfully completed with the total price of your cart or items added in your cart okay and now let's continue next video with the checkout option so when we check out we need to fill all the details and place the order okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share